Within the past couple of weeks, DJI has released uh, two new versions of the NASA firmware. The first version is 3.10, which provides uh, better takeoff control and landing, as well as better flight stabilization. So in this video, I'm going to talk through, I have a, a NASA M version 1. The version 2 actually came out this month, but uh, this video will talk you through upgrading your firmware for uh, the NASA V1 and we'll go we'll upgrade it to the latest version which is 3.12 and I want to do a little test video of a flight before and then walk you through the upgrade process and then we'll do a flight after and just see uh, if there's any difference. So I'm currently running uh, the older version of the NASA firmware 2.02 .02. so here we go. mode right now. Just kind of fly it around a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and land. Okay, so that was a you know, quick flight in attitude mode, and I'm going to walk through uh, doing the upgrade. Okay, so now we have our NASA attached to our computer, and I fired up the uh, NASA Assistant. Now you'll see it gives you the current version for both your uh, software and your firmware. If you look over on the uh, NASA or the DJI site, you can look and see that there are both a NASA Assistant version 2.12 and firmware 3.12. So I'm going to go ahead and the first thing you need to do before you do a firmware upgrade is download uh, the Assistant software, install it, and then you'll be able to do the firmware upgrade. Okay, so our Assistant is installed and I actually installed it alongside the uh, previous version 1.8 just to have it there. Now, um, it's prompting me for my login. Of course, I don't remember my username and password, but I'll go over here. I click forgot password and I'll enter my email and verification code. Okay, so I should be able to check my email, get my password and get logged in. So I was able to reset my password and you'll notice that immediately after I'm logged in, it prompts me uh, for the upgrade. On, currently on 2.02, going to 3.12, so we're going to go ahead and confirm the upgrade. I'll, I'll let you guys on a little secret. I'm not going to disconnect power to the motors and remove propellers. So here we go. And I can hear my ESCs beeping in the background. Okay, so firmware is upgraded. I'm going to go ahead, as it recommends, and power cycle uh, the NASA controller. Okay, so the controller has been power cycled. So we'll go ahead and follow the instructions to do the calibration here in a second. Okay, so let's close that. And you'll notice that there's a kind of a fresh new UI. It looks it looks a lot nicer. One of the first things we need to do is, if you notice down here, is perform an advanced calibration. So we'll go to Tools, Advanced, and uh, make sure that our multi-rotor, your multi-rotor, is nice and level. And, wow, calibration will take five to ten minutes, okay. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Got it. So, so about a minute into it, I received this error. Thought this process would be seamless, but I guess not. Uh, apparently, my transmitter midpoint, stick midpoint, 
error is too big. I'm going to do a stick calibration. That seems like a logical next step. Okay, here we are in the basic RC menu, and we're going to go ahead and do a uh, calibration. So I'm going to click Start, and then basically move my sticks to their different endpoints. Okay, I'll click Finish. Let's check to see if we're close to center. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Our um, aileron could come down a little bit, so I'm just going to trim that down. So I'm going to go back to our tools menu and let's do an advanced calibration again. Okay, so now I'm seeing a message to power off the controller for 10 minutes, then power it back up. That's kind of a strange request, but I'll go ahead and do that. I guess 10 minutes later, um, we'll power it back up. So I don't know if I should hit OK now. I'll just wait 10 minutes and then I'll come back and hit OK and let's see what happens. Here we are 10 minutes later. So the NASA is powered back up. I'm going to hit OK. And looks like maybe I do advanced calibration again. So let's see. Here we go. It looks like after our 10 minute lag and um, our 10 minute wait and then coming back and clicking advanced calibration, it looks like everything's okay. So um, the only other thing I've noticed in the configuration is that, you know, I've previously done a, quite a few videos explaining how to use your gear switch and your three-way switch. Well, you can see my default a switch mode is actually not on attitude, it's in fail safe. And so it's just a little bit off, so we'll go ahead and tweak that. And now when I go to what used to be manual mode, um, you can see where it's highlighted, I actually have the ability to set manual attitude or fail safe. So that's, that's a neat option uh, that's out there. But I won't go into details of how to set all this up right now. I'm just trying to get through the firmware update and then we can take it for a test flight. Okay, so I've gone ahead and got the uh, three-way switch uh, de defaulted to attitude mode. And let's just review our settings before we take uh, the test flight with the new firmware. We set up our uh, stick calibration. We did our IMU calibration. Now, uh, everything looks pretty good. I do notice that my uh, basic and attitude gains uh, that I had set previously have been reset. So... I'm just going to leave the defaults for now and then uh, you know, refer back to a previous video I did where I found some good gain settings. So it maintained the quad rotor X configuration. Also what I noticed is that it doesn't look like there's a uh, right you know, configuration option. So I'm going to assume that uh, in this new version of the assistant, as you ch make, change your settings, that's automatically propagated to your uh, flight controller, to your NASA. So uh, I, guess, I guess I'll find that out here in a minute when I do the test flight and whether or not uh, this thing gets in the air. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we got 3.12 firmware on our NASA and I'm just going to do some quick nudging, you know, pitching, um, yawing and just seeing if everything looks okay. So. Yeah, the stick definitely, it's interesting, the throttle stick doesn't really kick into play until much higher in the curve. Okay, this is, wow. I mean, this is a lot better, I'm not going to lie. I'm in attitude mode, and it's just so much easier to keep stable.
Wow, okay. I was a little bit skeptical at first, but uh, this new firmware load is, is pretty incredible. So uh, once again, this was a firmware load of 3.12 with the uh, V1 NASA. Now the V2 is out there and I know very little about it, but I can say I'm very impressed just with uh, the firmware update. So it took a little work to get there and uh, you saw the steps that I had to go through. You know, all in all, it was about a 30 minute uh, upgrade, but um, I'm very impressed, like I said, and um, we'll continue to post and get my gains dialed in and uh, do some more testing. If you have any questions, please post them below and hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching.